folks, we're back. This is Steve Sass and Jim Jonas with another episode of Veterans in Politics. Today, our guest is going to be Dr. Nancy Bruni. Today, our guest is going to be Alex Falcone. Today, our guest is going to be Dr. John Patrick. Jeff Stone. This is Jesse Law. John Cruz. He's a COO and founder of Elamere. Mayor John Lee. The O'Brien Wheeler. Patrick Boylan. F. Shelley Berkeley. Stavros Anthony. Tosh Seal and Mike Aberka. Rhonda Kennedy. I spent 12 years on Dana White's reality TV show, mm -hmm. putting athletes together on the UFC. So part of it's you a physical. Were the part of yeah, 12 years. From Ronda Rousey to Anderson, BJ, Connor, they, you know. Ronda was my girl. So she's tough, man. I'll tell you, the toughest boy. woman on the UFC was Ronda's mother. She came one, she came one time. <laughs> I, I'm not kidding you. She came. They, were, they were actually saying we're, you know, they were talking like Marxists and socialists. I mean, it was really nuts. So, and, any, yeah. sorry, has any of those meetings you ever sat down and listened to somebody just really reamed into you, but you can't really comment, but you really want to go down there and pistol whip the crap out of them? <laughs> <laughs> Funny you say that, life or death. That's exactly how I look at politics. <laughs> yeah, especially That's now. Life or death. Especially now. Because you put an asshole into the office, that's what you're going to get, death. <laughs> if you put somebody in office that's brilliant, humble, compassionate, empathetic, you're going to get life. Graffiti and drugs and violence in our schools. And he said, Mr. Stone, don't worry about it. We're going to take care of it. Uh, next in line. Kind of just blew me off. <laughs> Sounds, and so, Sounds like government at, at <laughs> yeah. work. Right. So time went on and the graffiti problem got worse. And finally, one day, my wife called me at the pharmacy. She said, on your way home, you're stopping by City Hall. I said, what am I doing? She goes, I'm, I want you to pick up an application. You're running for City Council. And then I said, you know, uh, why should I run for city council? I said, you're, you're the one that's got the bigger mouth. <laughs> that didn't go very well. I was doing the math last night. Mm. And for, I know you've been doing it longer, but for you and I, happy 15th anniversary. This is our, this will start our oh. 15th year together. Together. Yeah. On the show. On the show. Wow. And then also, I just want where, where, where are you taking me for the, for the, for the anniversary, <laughs> Jim? They're veterans that hunt down missing teens in the Las Vegas area. A friend of mine who was also in the teams came to me and asked if I wanted to join an organization called Save in America. There is an immigrant <coughs> um, caravan that is headed for the southern border of the United States and headed through Mexico. And it came in through Guatemala. Now, the United States States State Department is trying to negotiate with the Mexican government right now uh, to get them to stop them from coming in to the country of Mexico to begin with. And they crossed into the southern border of Mexico without being stopped. And the response from the Mexican government is, don't worry, they'll tire out and they'll die before they get to the United States border. We, uh, my parents, who I thought were so old, they were 31 and 34 <laughs> at the time. Um, and I was 12, my sister was seven. Um, dog, I can't, I can't remember. I, I, gotta, I gotta stop you right there. I gotta stop you right there. Um, what do you say about people that, 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 that says about your age today, you being involved in politics, what do you say to them about that? About what? About you being too old. Well, you know, this is so great, Steve. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. When I was first running for the Nevada State Assembly in 1982, I was 30 and pregnant with my son, Max. And I had Max at the end of May and I won the election in November. Now, everybody was upset that I was running because I was too young and I needed to be <laughs> home to take care of you my child. You can't win, child. you can't so, win. <laughs> but there are people who have served and they've lost their lives. And then you know, all of our wonderful memories about what America is. And it's turning uh, into a nightmare under the Biden administration. It's not recognizable. We saw President Trump yesterday and he's like, you know, 24 election, I'd say it's the most important. You know, we, we tend to do that as it escalates. But he goes, you know, think about 24 without a Republican. He's like, will there be a country? You know, I think that's a valid point. And, and by the way, uh, that little bit about me, that's what motivates me. And my show was called El Circo. And it was all about 
jokes and and singing and, and doing different voices and stuff like that, which I do. I do different characters. Uh, so. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> I used to work for Disney. <laughs> I joined that voice. And then Spanish too. Hola amigos, ho ho! Soy Mickey Mouse! Bienvenidos a Disney Radio! Ho ho! But before we get to Mr. Falcone, Frank, any rant? Oh yeah, a few of them. Uh, stop bullshitting, learn your local politics, stay away from bad CCW instructors. <laughs> That'd be a good one. And uh, legalize mutual combat. <laughs> I'm just saying. Get rid of a lot of assault time on police officers charged with a fray. And if two dudes or girls want to run their mouth, they can throw hands. One candidate, he had an a, 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 a American name and uh, another candidate had an Indian name. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the candidate with the American name, you know, spoke clearly, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and the candidate with the Indian name spoke with a heavy accent. But the candidate with the American name is is a um, uh, a college dropout, mm -hmm. and the uh, candidate that has two bachelor's degrees and the master's degrees, entire family or a bunch of professors, um, uh, uh, didn't win. The effort to impede the deployment of a high definition camera into a courtroom has to do with less viewers, less people paying attention. And I think that judges and attorneys are cognizant of the fact that the higher the quality of the presentation, the more people are going to see it. So I, when I hear things like, you don't need to put a high definition camera in here, what I hear is, we don't mind if 20 people watch it, we just don't want 2,000 people to watch it. And so they're trying to control the amount of people that see what they're doing. That's, what I, that's what's going on. Because they have a name out there, because they ran three times and they lose they, they, they even lose I'm, their own I'm sitting they, still they because lose their own I'm, trying to, I'm trying to speak. So I'm just, what? Oh, okay. Why do they rally around these, these recycled candidates, these carpet baggers, and these candidates that don't show up to a goddamn Republican event unless they want your vote? Why do they rally around these assholes? So I have, I married my wife three, the week I turned 19 years old. I just fell in love immediately and we started having children. We have seven children. We have 30, wow. 31 grandchildren. Oh my God. Two great grandchildren. See, this is the time of year you broke, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's a credit card time problem for a lot of people. <laughs> now that area is being built like crazy. Everywhere I go, I see cones. And I think cones should be the, the national, Nevada's national symbol. <laughs> <laughs> Because everywhere you go in this valley, you see cones. Oh, they, 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 a lot of people call cones the state flower. The state oh, flower. Yeah. Because yeah. like there's cones everywhere. everywhere. Even when they're not working. There's right. Yeah. Think about that for a second. So all of a sudden, money is taken completely out of the equation. Whereas today, under our current processes, judges raise money. Mm -hmm. And don't you think it would be better, a better system, potentially, not to have judges raising money? What would you say if I told you that Joe Biden said there's going to be another epidemic? Um, besides the one he's created right now, yeah. being a, a health one? No. Uh, he's probably already warned you that the latest, um, that worldwide organization, the one-on-one one world government, are planning to do something else. Do I know that for sure? No, but that's be the first thought that went in my mind that uh, there's a conspiracy out there to destroy America. Because the rest of the countries, they're like this, you know, they're, they're top heavy and they don't have a lot of infrastructure. We've got it, everything, their minerals, food, everything. They've got to destroy America before they can take over the world. And I really believe that there's a group of people and that's what they want to do right now. <laughs> but um, I'd like to thank everybody for, for tuning in. Uh, this is Steve Sanson, Jim Jones for Veterans in Politics. Until next time.